Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the code forces problem B mirror in the string of Goodbye 2021 contest. Okay, so let's look at the problem. So we are given a string S of these characters S1, S2, Sn of S N N characters and we are standing on the left on the string looking, looking at right. And we want to choose an index k uh, from 1 to n and place a mirror after the kth letter. So what you see is obviously S1 to k and then SK to S1, right? That's how a mirror works. And what is the lexicographically smallest string that you can see? Okay, and uh, lexicographically what it means, it's pretty much explained here, but I'll also tell you in a minute. So let's understand the problem from test cases like we always do. So let's see the test case code forces, right? So we have uh, code forces, the size of the string is 10, and then we have code forces. So suppose if I uh, put the mirror here, then what will I get? I'll get COD and DOC, right? Or if I put the mirror here, then I'll get CODE, EDOC, right? So that's how it's working basically. And I want to get the lexicographically smallest string. So what does that mean? So suppose I put the mirror here, what will I get? I get CC, right? Or suppose I put the mirror here in this position after O. So what will I, what will I get? I'll get COOC. So from these two, which is lexicographically smaller? CC, right? CO, as you can see, here we have the second character C, the second character is O. So lexicographically smaller, meaning that in two string, whatever is the first character that is different should be smaller, okay? And the size doesn't matter in, uh, in that, but the first character that is different should be smaller. So here the first character that is different is C, and here it is O. C is smaller than O, so CC should be the answer, right? And then if I take another test case, so suppose I take this, right? So if I take that, then I get this. Now suppose I put the mirror at the first index, I'll get CC, right? So I'll get CC. Let me increase the size. Yeah, so I'll get CC. And suppose I put the mirror here, I'll get CB, BC. And if I put the mirror after A, so I'll get CBA, ABC. So from these three, which is lexicographically smaller? So, like I said, the first index that is different. So, from these two, the first index that is different, this is smaller. So, obviously, these two are smaller than CC. Then, in these two, the lower two, uh, the first index that is different is this and this. So, A is smaller. So, this will be the answer that I'll choose. And that is the answer, right? Getting CBA, AC. So, what I'm doing basically is that I'm putting the mirror in such a place so that it's kind of in descending order. So you see, we're getting C and then B next to it is smaller than C, A next to it is smaller than B. So we're getting till it's in descending order and wherever it starts to go up from A to C, it's higher, we put the mirror. Okay, so if I explain to you with another example, so let's say BBAA, right? So suppose I have BBAA. So suppose I have a test case, BBAA, okay? Or suppose I give you another test case, I give you D uh, and B, A and B, okay? So from D to B, B is smaller, then A is smaller. So if I put the mirror here, what will I get? I'll get D, B, A, A, B, D, right? And then B is now greater than A. So if I put the mirror here, I'll get B again, right? Because this Wherever I put the mirror, the index left to it will be repeated. Okay, so that index should be smaller than the index before it. That's why I said it should be kind of in a descending order. Okay, so like I said, D to B, is it smaller? Yes. B to A, is it smaller? Yes. A to B, is it smaller? No. So we'll stop right there. So this is the common idea, but there's a few corner cases. What if it is same? So suppose I have D, B, 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 B like this. So what will I do? So I move from D to B and B to B. So instead of uh, the next character being upper or lower, it is exact. So what will I do? So let's just try it out. So I have D, B, 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 B. So if I take D, D, if I put the mirror here, it will be just D, D. And then if I put the mirror here, it will be D, B, B, D. And again, can be D, B, 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 D. Kind of like that. So which is smaller? As you can see, the as the string is getting longer, it's getting strong, uh, it's getting lexicographically smaller. So that means that what if the next character is so if next 
character is less than or equal to then we add it to our string that we want to reverse then add it to our answer string and in the end the uh, final answer is answer string plus reverse of answer string okay but what if uh, we have the first character first two characters are same for example if i take this test case itself which is given in the problem so suppose i take this suppose i have a, -A, -A, -A right so as you can see the next character is obviously here uh, equal to the first character so is it okay to take it let's just try it out so if i put the mirror in the first position so what will the answer be the answer will be a a but if i put the position right put the mirror in this position the answer will be a a a a so as it is getting longer as you can see it's the exact same string with only one character a so even if it's getting longer it's not getting lexicographically smaller why is that because the num because the characters are same like i said for lexicographically string to be different the first character that is different should be smaller but there is no character that is different in that case the string with the smaller length will be lexicographically smaller so here if the first two characters are same then what we'll do is we'll just say uh, the first character plus the first character will be our answer so in this case aa will be the answer okay so basically we have two cases if first two characters are same then uh, that will be the answer for then first care plus first care is the answer correct and if the next character is greater then also first care plus first care will be answer suppose this was b then what will we do as you can see b is greater than a so we cannot take it so again a will be the answer apart from that we'll do this if next character is less than equal to then we'll keep on adding it to our answer string so let me explain it to you with code how it's working so i have my n i'm inputting n i'm inputting my string s and i'm inputting my string and i'm then creating a string answer which is initially empty so in answer i'm putting in the first character now i'm checking if the first two characters are same or the second character is greater than the first character then simply the answer will be uh, the first character and then the second character so i'm just reversing which is reversing one character will be the same so here it's basically first two characters else i start from i is equal to 1 and like i said if the next character is lower than the previous character then i keep on adding it to my answer if it's not then i put the mirror right there and i break and so the answer will be the original string plus the mirror as in plus the reverse of that so i'm reversing the answer and then i'm printing answer again so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any doubts just put them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.